In this video, I am going to cover how to make a decal in plasticity. So I am going to start with a circle. I'm going to make sure that I have it selected and that I have the selection mode for faces turned on. I'm going to extrude it. Then I'm going to confirm that by clicking enter. And I'm going to select this face here and let's see, we are going to want to... Mm, I'm going to choose hollow a solid and we're going to be able to adjust the width here. Now, I'm going to click right click in order to confirm. We can use either enter or right click in plasticity to confirm an action. Let's see, I want to select this face and click offset curve and I'm not seeing a handle so I'll just use the distance here and click OK and extrude this middle section I'm going to make it a little bit lower than the edges. We actually could make it match. It wouldn't likely matter in this case. I'm just going to make it a little bit lower. And that completes our basic shape. Now let's make sure that we round our edges. So I'll start here and press D. And I will confirm that. And also do the same here. Let's see, I might use the G2 method of shaping the edge. So we were able to add a fillet on both of those. I'm not gonna bother with the inside. And that pretty much creates our decal. Now, in order to be able to use this and add it to other shapes, we want to create essentially an inversion or a negative of this. So let's see, let's make sure we have, I'm going to hide this new solid, I'll call it base decal two because I've already created one of these. Let's fix that. And there we go. All right, and select the base and make sure that the face mode is selected and we will extrude this like so. Really doesn't matter a whole lot as long as we cover the base decal. And I will call this decal two. All right. Now I can never remember which order, but what we want to do is create a Boolean and this will give us our negative, if you will. So we want to use a difference boolean, and like I said, I can't remember which order we want to go in, so I'm going to experiment. And that was not the right order, so I'm going to start with the decal, and then go to the base decal, and use boolean. I'll press W to make sure that it's using difference, and say OK. And now we have our negative. All right, so from this point, I'm going to create essentially a base that is really serving just the purpose of showing how this works. All right, now we want to use the snapping tools to snap this negative onto, onto the uh, sample here. Now I'm going to create a of this decal, I'm going to create a duplicate. And we'll call them both decal two, it doesn't really matter. This solid will will label example two. All right. So now what we wanna do is make sure that we have this selected as an object. And we want to select the move tool and I'm going to zoom out so you can see it. 
there's a couple different ways to do this. I'll, I'll uh, perhaps have to make a tutorial on snapping, but I'm going to use the freestyle method. And in this case, because our inside is a different height than our outside, I'm gonna use the outside as a reference. And we will press F and we can select a point to use as our pivot. And I'm going to make sure that I select this outer edge. And then we can snap our decal, or decal negative rather, to the top of our example. And then finally, if we grab the example and then this decal, we can Boolean. And there you go. We have very quickly created what looks like perhaps a bolt or a rivet inside of our example. And we can do that again. I'm going to copy this. And uh, the method I'm using to copy this is Shift D. I'm using the Blender set of hotkeys. So I'll label this. And finally, we want to again use the move tool, press F, grab one of these points, and we can pretty much snap this to the top of our example, maybe over here. And then finally grab the example, the decal. Actually, let's see, uh, I want to make sure I'm using shift. We want to make sure that these are separate. I'm forgetting the rhyme or reason how to select one at a time. Perhaps it looks like pressing control first allows me to, to uh, get these separately. So then we can create another Boolean and there you go. We have successfully made a negative that we can use to create an unlimited amount of decals for our object. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please share it, like this video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay up to date.